And today I'm going to be demoing a new feature that we have coming out as part of GitLab 10.3. Um, and this feature is available for both GitLab CE and GitLab EE. And what the feature allows you to do is to allow you to add comments to commits within a merge request. Um, so what that means is that before you can only participate in a conversation uh, within a merge request uh, within a particular version. So I'll show you what that means uh, right now. So as you see on the page, you have a merge request. Um, you have the title, description as usual. You have a discussion thread. And so uh, I just added some commits before starting the video, but I'm going to add a comment here, um, starting a review now. So you know that's typically what you might do. And once you have that, I'm going to click on the Changes tab and to see the latest change. So this was the latest change uh, of this merge request, latest version, and I can add a comment. Um, so I can say something like, um, you know, uh, why was this changed to 4.1? Something like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit comment there. Give that a second to save to the database. And once that saves, um, you can see that this comment is with respect to this merge request and this particular latest version. So you can uh, go into previous versions and add comments there. Um, that's existing GitLab functionality. If you go to the discussion tab, you will see that um, you know I've started a new discussion on this particular diff it refers to the latest version. So everything I've shown up to now is exactly the same uh, previous to GitLab 10.3. Nothing's changed yet. Now the new feature is interesting because now I'm going to comment on a particular commit uh, as opposed to a version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a previous commit. I'm going to go to the uh, February 24, um, 2017 commit here and click on this particular commit uh, created by Remy here. And that's going to again take a second, but what's interesting is that now it brings us to the changes tab of the merge request, but instead of showing the latest version, it shows um, only with respect to this commit. So you can see just this commit, um, this block of code was removed. So you know I'm going to add a line saying you know why was this block of code removed? Um, I thought uh, this you know uh, function was necessary for the new subsystem. So I'm going to go ahead and hit comment there. And now that starts a conversation with regard to this particular commit. Um, so it says only comments from the following commit are shown below. So it's with respect to this particular commit. Um, and I've started a conversation here. So I'm going to go back to the commits tab again and start another conversation. So, so if you if you were paying attention closely, you'll see that there's a conversation with regards to, to Remy's commit on Feb 24. There was a conversation on the latest version, and I'm going to yet now start a third conversation on the latest commit, uh, not the version. So um, I made this commit uh, before starting the video, and it's uh, the commit is uh, 347E9A16, um, and the name of the commit is, is change to cache value. Um, so you see that exactly here. And all I did was um, change some words here. Um, so I'm going to say um, this was a bug. It should have returned uh, value all along. So I'm going to go ahead and hit comment there. And so now I have three separate uh, discussions on the latest version, on the latest commit, and on the commit on February um, I think it was 24, 2017. So if you, uh, if we let the, you know, let GitLab go ahead and, and persist it to the system here, um, you can see all three discussions happening at the same time in the discussion tab. So what's interesting now here is that you can see the first dis uh, discussion that I started three minutes ago uh, on the diff. I have the second um, discussion on this commit, and then I have the third discussion on this particular commit. Um, and what's, what I'm going to do here and that's really interesting is that I'm going to actually resolve this discussion. So um, I think this is fine. Let's resolve it. So I'm going to go ahead and click comment and resolve discussion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that commit uh, diff view, uh, as you noted. So this, again, is with respect to 347. Um, that particular commit, the one that I, I created. 
So if you go back to this view, I'm going to go back again to the change to cash value commit and give that a second to load. And once that loads, um, you'll see that that um, conversation has been resolved now, as you would expect. So that conversation, again, is res with respect to this cash value. And you see now the conversation is um, uh, toggled collapse by default because it's a resolved discussion. Um, so I can click through it and you can see that indeed it is resolved. And again, if you go back to the discussion tab, um, that same conversation uh, was resolved. So that's why it shows as collapse as usual. So there's a lot more nuances here, but I wanted to keep this uh, short and light for today. And I encourage everybody to try out this new feature. Again, this feature allows you to comment on commits within a merge request as opposed to version. And the primary use case here is for a lot of teams. Um, they want to collaborate on a commit level because um, perhaps they have more stringent requirements that um, want a review at the code level, uh, reviewing every, uh, sorry, commit level, reviewing every commit and signing off on every commit as opposed to a version. So some folks might, you know, have multiple commits, push, you know, say five commits together in one version, but you want to review them a commit by commit. And so now uh, this new feature allows you to do it. It is available for GitLab 10.3 in both CE and EE editions. And uh, we invite you to comment um, wherever you can in, in GitLab, whether that is the, the release blog post or uh, on this tutorial page uh, in, the, in this post here, or create a new issue or comment an existing issue in GitLab if you have further feedback. Uh, thank you for watching today.